and more remarkable claims by Dominic Cummings that Boris Johnson did know about this party. We all saw the uh, email invitation, of course. And what's more, he gave it the green light. Yes, this is a claim that was uh, uh, first made in, a, in a, a column in the Sunday Times yesterday by Dominic Lawson, son of a former uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Nigel Lawson, in which uh, uh, Mr, uh, Mr Lawson wrote that he was told that uh, it was raised with the Prime Minister and his dismissive response was to say they were overreacting and to praise Martin Reynolds as my loyal Labrador. Martin Reynolds is the man now being called Party Marty, who sent that now notorious bring your own booze email invitation. Now, Mr Cummings was the first person to raise publicly this May the 20th party um, in 2020. That was five days over the after the photo was taken of Mr uh, uh, Johnson, Mr Reynolds and, uh, Do and Dominic Cummings in the back garden. This uh, May the 20th party is the one that the Prime Minister described in Parliament last Wednesday as a work event. He implicitly believed it was a work event, he said. Note the use of the word implicitly. But now we have yet another blog uh, from Mr Cummings, who uh, was the Prime Minister's closest aide, now his sworn enemy, who seems hell-bent on bringing him down. Now, in the original blog about 10 days ago, Mr Cummings said he warned about the blog, about the party, but was ignored. Now, he says, in his uh, latest blog post... Um um, I said to the PM something like, Martin's invited the building to a drinks party. This is what I'm talking about. You've got to grip, the, grip this madhouse. Uh, he goes on to say... The PM waved it aside. Um, I had told him repeatedly uh, that uh, uh, the, the, pri the private secretary should be replaced, as had other comp competent officials who knew the whole structure, need a huge upgrade, etc., etc. Uh, he's my guy. I don't want your, um, you replacing him with your person. And he, not, uh, Mr Cummings also says uh, that uh, there are photos um, and uh, that, uh, that they are likely to come out. Uh, just to recap on the tweet, he, go, he does say, um, the events of May the 20th alone, never mind the string of other events, mean the PM lied to Parliament about parties. Not only me, but other... Uh, there it is, the bottom sentence there, look. Not only me, but other eyewitnesses who discussed this at the time would swear under oath that this is what happened. The Daily Telegraph reported this morning that uh, the Prime Minister has been interviewed by Sue Gray, the civil servant uh, uh, carrying out an investigation. Uh, Mr Cummings, uh, no doubt, would argue that perhaps she ought to interview the PM again following this latest allegation. Uh, but clearly... Uh, there are conflicting stories. Number 10 yesterday denied the Dominic Lawson claim, said it was not true, but uh, Mr Lawson's claim is backed up by Mr Cummings here, uh, and he is accusing the Prime Minister of lying to Parliament. Well... That would be very, very serious if he had done that. He would be, his position would be absolutely, almost certainly terminal then. Tory MPs would turn against him. There's plenty of evidence that uh, MPs and their constituents are turning against him already. Listen to this from the uh, Conservative MP Steve Baker. Now, he's a big lockdown cricket, critic. He went to Downing Street today to hand in a petition, and this is what he, Mr Baker said about the reaction in his constituency to the events of the past few days. Do you expect the Prime Minister to lead us into the next election for Boris Johnson? I think it's, in, in a situation as volatile as this, it's impossible to say, and I regret that very much. I, I would still prefer that Boris Johnson were a roaring success, but right now, listening to the public, who remember very well all the sacrifices they made, I think people may well be too angry to forgive, but it remains to be seen. And how much anger in your constituency? How powerful oh, is that? Absolutely furious. Mr Baker also said that the uh, uh, proportion of uh, constituents opposed to the Prime Minister was 60 to 1. 
so that uh, uh, is uh, uh, fairly typical of many MPs' post bags. Conservative MPs report that they've had hundreds and hundreds of emails from the public. But uh, this latest attack from Dominic Cummings will pile pressure, more pressure on the Prime Minister. This is the really serious charge that he lied to public, to the to Parliament. He was told about the invitation. He knew it was a drinks party. He lied to Parliament, says Mr Cummings. And uh, the events of uh, the 20th of May alone, never mind the string of other events, mean the PM lied to Parliament about parties. We shall wait to see if the PM is, and his, uh, his uh, staff in number 10 are still saying uh, that the claim that he was warned personally about the Martin Reynolds invitation not to, to call off the party. If he still insists, that is untrue. Uh, but clearly, uh, there's some big, big questions tonight for the Prime Minister to answer. We come back to this May the 20th party, uh, which is one of the most serious allegations, uh, which directly involves the Prime Minister. He wasn't the, the one the night before the, um, the, the uh, Prince Philip's funeral. He wasn't there. That was uh, number 10 staff. But this one, he is dragged right into the row because he's being he's being accused of being told by two people according to Mr Cummings uh, that this he should cancel this party it shouldn't go ahead and Mr Cummings is saying that uh, he was his adv advice was brushed aside and as I say Dominic Lawson said uh, people were overreacting Mr Reynolds is was my loyal Labrador said uh, Mr uh, Prime Minister M meanwhile of course there's lots of reports that uh, Mr Mr Reynolds is for the sack uh, when Mr Johnson has a clear out of the number 10 staff he believes are to blame for the what's been called a drinking culture inside 10 Downing Street and all those parties.